Yo, what is going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer bringing you guys some more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egglock and today I am very excited. I am very, very ecstatic to start off today's episode. Do you guys know like we have so many eggs? I completely forgot we have so many eggs. We have four eggs to start the episode with. Four eggs. That's freaking amazing. I'm so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> all right. So let's start with the Geo Dude. This is gonna be all 15. I'm gonna do all the red candies uh, off screen. I'll like pause the video and then do the red candies. I'm gonna. I have a pen and paper out or a marker and paper out, and I'm gonna write down all the levels so we all get to go. This Pokemon will be a level 15 egg. Level 15. Well, when it hatches, you know, it'll be level 15 or whatever. I uh, will just swap the Hound around for a second. This is going to be level 15 for like the fifth time. And with that being said, hopefully we can uh, get a good nickname for this so we don't have to like pause too often. But uh, before we do get too crazy into this episode, make sure you guys do hit that like button if you want to see some more Elf Sapphire Egglog going down the line and you want to see more of these pumped out. And this is going to be a Larvitar. Ooh. Mmm. What do I want to name this thing? Ooh. Mm, ugh, there are a couple different names I have. I'll be right back. I'm kind of conflicted right now. Alright, I am back! And <laughs> I don't know what was ringing through my mind. Did I just say Tyranitar? Did I just say Tyranitar? Can someone just slap me? I don't know if I said that or not, but something in my mind told me that I said Tyranitar instead of Larvitar. But either way, this is going to be JPP Jr. JPP Jr. Actually, JPP really does. Like a Tyranitar and Larvitar for that matter. Uh, so I was kind of contemplating in my head uh, to, before I even paused it. Should I name this thing JPP or something? So I have a magic mark route. Let's go Larv. Larv level 15. I will do that. I will do that later. Alright, so that's written down. We'll take care of that uh, in a moment. Sorry, at the beginning of the recording might be a little pause -y every now and then -y <laughs> because I gotta do nicknames, leveling up, all that type of stuff. Let me put you up there, actually. Now we're gonna have a level 18. This is going to be a little bit higher leveled. Let's give what box needs some love. I think box 2. Box 2 could use a little bit of love. This is gonna be level 18, and that is our highest level, I believe, so... This better be a good one. This better be a good one, especially because uh, our Hounder that we just got was a level... What was it? Uh, it's 16 right now, right? Like, so 18 would be an upgrade. That would be pretty good. Let's see what's going to be. Got my marker out. It'll be level 18, and it's going to be a. Ooh, all right. It's gonna be a Cleffa. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know whether to be happy or not about that. <laughs> Because Confable, I don't know. I've never really used it before, but I feel like it's underrated or overrated or I don't know. I don't know. Let's name this thing. I don't want to go. I don't want to pause it for every nickname. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to name you Lunar. Because when I think of you, I think of the moon. I know it's so original, guys. I'm so great at nicknames. That's why I pause the video almost every time. Unless it's like someone's mascot, or I have a good nickname, or I'm just random as fuck like I did with the, the Hound Air. The Hound Air we fucking had, we named it Alfredo, because I was like, ah, let's name it Alfredo, why not? So I have that written down, we're going to level it up to level 18. Now that's two eggs out of the way, this one's going to be a level 15. A level 15. Ooh, a store, stored power, I think that that's pretty decent. It's level 1, so that's a... Uh, it's not a lot for... or that, not, never mind, that is a lot for a level 1. Whew, alright. This is gonna be another level 15. Uh, let's give Box 3 a little bit of love as well. Uh, did we do Box 1 today? I don't think that we did Box 1. Let's, we'll do Box 1 in a minute. So this is going to be a level 15 as well. Let me get out the wonderful magical marker. We're not gonna do anything this episode because we're just doing fucking eggs, it feels like. Magic marker, level 15. This is going to be... I'll take a little bit of time. I'll pause it once again uh, after we're done with all the eggs and do the rare candy shindig. And this is going to be a duplicate. Ooh. It's a duplicate, that means we get to rehatch, because we we have a we have a Mr. Mime on the fucking team. I'm not even going to name you dupes, because I don't want to waste any more time. Normally, I would name it dupes, but no, 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 no. We're, we're not doing that this time, though. No. All right, where's my duplicate box? Hey, look, it's a shiny Aegislash. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to explain that. <laughs> That's for something else. Remember, guys, this is one of my few Oras cartridges, so you're going to see random Pokemon. Like, that was for a tutorial. I'm sorry, I don't have all my shit together. Okay, so this is going to be a little 15, because we got a nice little duplicate Pokemon. That's a weird duplicate. Two Mr. Mimes, unless someone just sent all Mr. Mimes, which is kind of a little trollish. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to send different eggs and whatnot, but it's all good. 
it's all good. I'm just not going to use it. <laughs> it's not going to be usable for the Let's Play. So, this is going to go ahead and be... Ooh! Ooh, two scoops! Two scoops! Two scoops. Level 15. I know I'm naming that two scoops because you guys probably know that uh, Mr. Moonlight Swami, Swami Studios, he had a t-shirt that was named uh, Two Scoops. Because it was like... Uh, Alakazam with two spoons, two scoops, and it was like ice cream and had uh, like vanilla or whatever. Had the ice cream Pokemon in there. <laughs> All right, two scoops. I think I'm gonna have this on my team. Fuck it, Alakazam is very, very, very powerful. Uh, really good stuff. Okay, so two scoops, two scoopity scoop scoop scoops. I could probably be using my styles and my touchscreen right now, but oh uh, well. This is gonna be a little 15. We're about to have an Alakazam. Fuck, man. Because once that evolves into a Kadabra, you know that I will be growing that into uh, an Alakazam. I'll be trading that right away. I'll get someone to trade with me. Uh, Alright, so that is going to be very good. Teleport. I don't think we really could have much else. Sweet. So this is our last egg that we're going to hatch for now. It is a level 14 Pokemon. Let's do box one. I feel like we haven't done box one enough. There we go. Box one. This is going to be a level 14. I was about to say 15. Let me write down 14 before I forget. 14! There we go, sweet! Damn, we're spending so much time on eggs, but you know what? Four eggs, that is crazy! Let me know who, uh, who sent in those eggs. Let me know, please, in the comment section below. Anyway, let's see. This is going to be... Ooh, a Magby! Ooh! We're gonna, we're gonna call you... We're gonna call you the infamous name, Tit Duck. Tit Duck. I believe that's what, uh... What you kids call them these days. <laughs> Tit Duck. Alright. Okay, those are some good hatches. Wow. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video once again. And I'm going to look through the team, see who I want on the team, and rare candy up all four of those Pokemon to the appropriate levels because I have them all written down and everything. So with that being said, thank you guys for cooperating because I just had to hatch four eggs. That's a lot. <laughs> and I'll do the rare candies right now so I don't waste any more time and I'll have my final decisions on the party up to this point in just a moment. Okay, finally we are back. This is the current party situation. <laughs> we have level 29. Girder, 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 yeah, level 29. We have two scoops, the Abra, level 15. We have Ride Me, the Skiddo, level 22. Tit Duck, the Magby, level 14. Rotom Ghost, the Shup at level 24. And JPP Jr., the level 15 Larvitar. Holy fuck, the team just changed a lot. <laughs> that is kind of crazy, and uh, I apologize, but I'm probably going to have to pause it one more time later in the episode, probably uh, sooner than later, because. Uh, we're going to be trade evolving, evolving by trading <laughs> our wonderful Abra into a, or Abra into Kadabra, and then we're going to have to trade it to get a nice and awesome Alakazam. So, we're going to have to pause again, and I have to go find someone to trade with, and that's that pretty much. So, anyway, yeah, we have Team Aqua, they got the meteorite, blah, blah, blah. Holy fuck, we have to save Professor Cosmo, or else something bad's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, well anyway, we have some really awesome stuff going on here because soon, probably two or three episodes from now, we're going to have the ability to Mega Evolve because we're going to have the, what is it, the Mega Bracelet in this game or whatever the Mega Device is in this game for us. Pretty much we're going to have the Latios or Latios event, uh, forget which one will be for this game, I think this game will be Latios actually. So we're going to find out exactly though, make sure the XP share is still on and everything. And uh, once we have that little event, right after we beat Norman, our daddy, uh, which probably, like I said, that's probably in a good two episodes from now, I would think or hope, uh, we can actually use Mega Evolution, which is really freaking cool! Because uh, we can get the nice uh, Alakazite, and we could get that really early in the game. We get that in freaking Slaveport, we just can't Mega Evolve yet. So we're going to have a Mega Alakazam on our team very soon, and Mega Alakazam is freaking amazing! And I love Mega Alakazam! It is awesome, it really is awesome! So, now you're going to use Safeguard. That's fucking annoying, because now it's going to be a little harder to catch, but it's all good. I'm not too worried. We're just going to use a nice little knockoff, and hopefully we can catch it kind of easy, because, uh, you know, we can still hatch even more eggs. It's crazy, right? It is crazy. We're going to even hatch more eggs next episode. It's insane. Anyway, yes, we're going to have this route. We're going to have Meteor Falls, and uh, we'll have two more eggs to hatch for next episode. This one just took exceptionally long. <laughs> so, there we go. Should catch pretty easy. Boom, boom. Yeah, there you go. That is another Pokemon right there. That is another egg hatched. <laughs> That's insane. 
We hatched four eggs. Four fucking eggs. That is, that's a lot. Okay, that's, that's a big number for one episode. There we go. That's like the first episode we hatched like four eggs. And I, I like ended the episode after I hatched the four eggs. <laughs> All right. So there we go. I think it was like five maybe actually. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we're going to keep on going until Abra evolves. And then I'm going to go find someone to trade with. Let me make sure Abra's not in the second slot because that would suck. All right. Uh, cool. We have Ride Me. Ride Me's okay. That's the thing that kind of sucks. We abandoned some other team members. Sorry. Snoren's gone. Mr. Mime's gone. Who else did we ditch? Did we ditch someone else? I forget. We definitely... Oh, Houndor. Houndor was kind of newly added, though, so it's not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah, we did have to get rid of some pokes. That kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, the thing that sucks about it is that they were higher leveled, so we're gonna have to, you know, kind of make up for that, but I think they'll be able to do that just fine. I think they'll be able to make it by and all that type of good stuff. So, I'm gonna take out this Azumarill first. That is my priority. Uh, actually, ooh, we have Razor Leaf. That'll affect both Pokemon. That's actually really cool. So, uh, Helping Hands... Alright, that's interesting. Okay, cool. So chip away, chip away. Boom, boom. Alright, cool. I really want to get that zoom roll. It really does look pretty dangerous. Honestly, I'm not doing Razor Leaf for the damage on the Rosalia, obviously. Yeah, that did nothing, but I I'm focused on that zoom roll right now. And it's going to use Magical Leaf, and that's only against one Pokemon. Alright. And, uh, whoa, what the fuck? That was, oh, Helping Hand. Helping Hand might have uh, made a difference there. Ooh. You know what? I don't want them both to attack Gurgers, so you know I'm gonna use this turn to heal up actually, because I don't want to take any risks with uh, our Gurger here. Hopefully after this battle we should actually uh, get that level up with our Abra, that is, uh, I'm very excited for it. <laughs> so yes, this uh, this turn, there we go, Azumarill is gonna be done, taken care of, get the fuck out of here, you are just annoying. <laughs> cool, so Azumarill's out, that was the real powerhouse of the team. I don't think, does Helping Hand take into effect for multiple turns or just for that one turn? I honestly don't know. Uh, but there we go, Ride Me gonna pick up the level, that's pretty awesome. I don't even know when we get the Go-Go, maybe we could get it now, maybe we'll get it in 10 episodes from now, I have no idea, maybe it's, I don't know, level 25 sounds about reasonable. Let's see how much it does now, and yeah, I just did a lot that one turn because of the, because of the helping hand. Okay, so, there we go, hoping that Abra can level up here, that would be great. <laughs> that really would be fantastic, uh, this should hopefully be maybe a one hit, if not, then the takedown from our Skiddo. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't even know if that was up for debate. Roselia is a weak motherfucker. Weak little poke. All right, yeah, there we go. Come on. Okay, cool. Tit duck rule level. You want to? Oh, fire spin. All right. All right. I don't want to go through everyone's moves because that would just take a long time. I'll keep everything the way it is. I mean, fire spin's kind of cool because it like has affects the Pokemon for multiple turns, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It's not that powerful. And wow, that was not enough to grow Abra. All right. Okay. All good. Oh. Oh, Diggro level. I, that just completely... I skipped over it then. All right, go ahead. Evolve away, Abra. Evolve um, evolve away. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. You do you, man. You do you. I didn't even see a girl level, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. We're about to get this nice Kadabra. And hopefully an Alakazam. If I can find someone to trade with, that'll be great. Uh, yes. I'm sorry this episode's been so fragmented. I've just been pausing, 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 but... Uh, this shit happens, I guess. <laughs> so now we can finally attack. That is great. And now we're going to get even better with an Alakazam. I'll be right back. I'm going to find someone to trade with. All right, everybody. We are back. I'm about to do a nice little trade with Peds10. I actually did a Wonder Cup battle with him very recently on the Pokemon Fat 5. It should uh, be the second episode, Wonder Cup face cam series. I did battle with him, and uh, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. And now he's back, back on my video. He's just finding ways to sneak in the back door and... Uh, well, he's back to day two, a little trade with me. So we're going to get a nice little trade evolution in here. Uh, I made sure that I told him to trade it back as well, <laughs> in case uh, that wasn't clear or whatever. I just want to make that sure that people know before they exit out of the trade. It's like, oh, you want to give me the cadaver to evolve it. Oh, all right. <laughs> so anyway, yes, this is going to be two scoops, two scoops, two, count them, two. So yes, we're going to evolve this thing. Sadly, we do not get to see it on our own screen, just because there's no way to control it. I remember that... Uh, when you trade evolve a Pokemon, or you evolve Pokemon by trade, you can't press, like, you can try and press the B button all that you want, but it just doesn't stop the evolution. It just keeps on going and going, so everybody, I want you to close your eyes, close your eyes, just listen to my voice, and there we go, the trade just finished, and just imagine the wonderful scenery of an evolution in a 6th gen game, just there's a little evolution, you know, you have Kadabra kind of spinning around and stuff, and you hear, bum, 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 Ba, 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 na, na, na. I don't know. 
Uh, that was really bad. I don't even know how it goes. And I really should know how it goes. Yes, and boom! Congratulations! Your two scoops has evolved into an Alakazam! Oh, that's so cool! Yay! So, there we go, everybody! We got an evolution on the team, and that's awesome! Sorry, you can't see it. I don't know what to do, really. There's not much I can do about it, <laughs> since it's a trade. Uh, I'm gonna take a sip out of my water, because I'm thirsty right now. Thank you. Thank you, a little intermission. There we go, cool. I want my Alakazam! I want my Alakazam! Let's go, let's go! Let's go. I am pumped. Ooh, two scoops. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's powerful right there. I, wow. I'm, I'm really excited. We start this episode with no abracadabra anything. Wow. We hatched it into an abra. Like, it literally went from egg to alakazam in a matter of, like, 20 minutes. And I say 20 minutes because I also had the period where I paused it and I hurricaned it up. But holy shit. There we go. Two scoops. Not bad. Haha. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Peds10 on Twitter. Or, uh, I think his Twitter is actually Peds810. Uh, but thank you for trading me. Uh, doing, Helping me out with the trade evolution there. I didn't want to do that off screen. I thought that was a little, you know, kind of important because it's evolving and everything. But yeah, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. I remember we had to do that for the randomizer Wonderlock. Uh, we got a Geodude. Yeah, we got a Geodude over the Warren Trade System. And, uh, yes, I'm doing a Wonderlock if you guys don't know. And, you, you know, you really have to rely on the Warren Trade System. So I just got over the Warren Trade System fresh a, uh, it was a Geodude. And I evolved it into a Graveler, one level layer. And I was in a dual con with Elliot. I'm like, this is perfect. Get on your DS and we'll trade and I'll get a nice Golem. And now we have, like, a level fucking 50 overpowered Golem. <laughs> it's crazy. So now we have Aaron. Um, you know, I would love to use Alakazam, but it's kind of not a greatly leveled, actually, so, <laughs> I don't know if we're ready to battle with it exactly, but I think that the goal, since we're, like, 17 minutes in, and we haven't done, like, anything yet, I guess we've done a decent amount of stuff, but in terms of progress for the game, we haven't, but there's really not much I can do about that, you know? I think that what we'll do is we'll just, uh, run through Meteor Falls, do the quick bullshit dialogue, actually, there's a battle that goes with it, too. Yo, I just realized, it was this part of the game. It was this part of the game, exactly, where I got the Geodude and evolved it into uh, a Graveler and then traded it with Elliot. That's funny. This part of the game, I always have to get trade evolutions. That is weird. That's bizarre. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. Aaron's taken up. And I think uh, it's time to start using some other pokes, because uh, Girder's getting a little OP over there. We want to have a nice little balanced team. It's hard to have a balance when, like, everyone just hatched from an egg, but uh, we'll work on it. It's a work in progress and all that type of cool shit. I feel like I got a burp. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a bad burp. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? We have a bike? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. There we go. Now we got May. You guys are taking the professor. Oh, no. Wait up. Uh. <laughs> well. All right, man. Yeah, we're gonna have a battle as well. We're going to have a battle as well over by the... Meteor Falls event. We're gonna have some dialogue there. I did not want to battle you. Uh, I think that we might... No, we're not going to save the dialogue for next time. I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to push through this episode, guys. We're going to push through. You can, can bet that we're going to push through this episode. <laughs> All right, so we got Ride Me. Ride Me. Ride Me. The wonderful, wonderful Skiddo. Man, I am so excited for this thing to evolve. I mean, because I haven't really got a chance to use Skiddo. I don't know. This it just doesn't hit that hard. I mean, that was a crit, and it didn't one-shot a mining three levels lower. It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> and this guy's just a fucking idiot. Hey, switcheroo, what are you fucking switching around? Nothing. A little dipshit. All right. So, there we go. Let me know what you guys think about the party changes down in the comment section below, because there were a lot of those changes today in this episode, so leave me some feedback. What do you guys think? And, uh, Dylan is online. I don't even know who Dylan is. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let me go on Do Not Disturb on Skip so you guys don't see all those bullshit notifications. Because I'm all unprofessional. All right. Volbeat now. Mm, Volbeat, Volbeat, Volbeat. Tittuck is not strong enough for that. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go with Morningwood. 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 I'm saying all my Pokemon just weird voices. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So, yeah, we're going to use a Rock Throw. That should be nice, easy. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. And, yeah. Also, whoever sent me in that Larvitar, holy fuck. That moveset is amazing, and, I mean, given the other moves are cool and everything, but the, the, the highlight of that is the fact that it has Dragon Dance. We have a Larvitar with Dragon Dance. That is going to, like, 
destroy lives out there. It's just, it's over. It's done. Goodbye. See you later, Dragon Dance. Bye bye. Nice knowing you. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Okay, can I avoid some trainers? That would be swell. That would be swell. Oh, we got an item over there. What is this mysterious little item over here now? It is the energy powder. Ooh, energy powder. And see, you know, I need to make a trip back to Slayport at one point to get that Alakazite. I'm gonna make an extra effort, because we're gonna be able to Mega Evolve sooner than uh, we think. Fuck you, man! I swear, the spit will be one of those guys that starts with the Geodude, not a Zubat, because I'm prepared for Geodude. Yeah, there we go! That's what I'm talking about. We got the nice little Razor Leaf rocking out for that. Ride me. Ride me, ride me. Alright, let's go for a Razor Leaf level 22. Ooh, challenging. <laughs> not really. Alright, there we go. No sturdy. There we go. Cool. Sturdy is annoying as a motherfucker, but I always complain about sturdy, so I'm not going to complain about this episode. You gotta be positive. I'm gonna be a little more positive today. Two scoops picking up a level. Two scoops picking up disable. There we go. So I guess that's good. That means that uh, Alexam can still learn moves, because I know trade evolution Pokemon, some of them are a little on the weird side, like they can't learn many moves. Like, uh, or maybe that's more like evolution stone Pokemon. Like, I remember, like, Nido King, like, people are always debating, like, do I evolve this thing? Do I wait? What level do I wait for? Because, like, you can get some moves, but some you can't. It's, like, annoying. And, uh, I think that we don't have that problem. I don't think that we have that problem with Revolution Pokemon, so that's good. That's very good. And there's the Sturdy again. I'm just gonna put a little stupid smile on my face. I love Sturdy. Sturdy is so much fun. It prolongs battles. It's fun. <sighs> Sigh. <laughs> There we go, cool, more experience, just divvy it out. And I'm excited for this next section because we're gonna have some Team Magma, team, or well, rather Team Aqua battles, and that means more experience up the airs. And I could have avoided that, fuck, I remember. I remember, I thought I couldn't, but I didn't. What the fuck, why are all my notifications appearing right now? Reconnect your drive, I don't wanna reconnect my drive right now. Think about that, huh? Windows, hmm, yeah, all right, no you didn't, okay, cool. So insensitive. Sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe you guys can't even see it. You probably did, but I apologize if you did. So there we go. Razor Leaf. We got a nice crit. It has that good uh, critical hit ratio, right? High critical hit ratio? I guess not. I guess not. Whoa, what the fuck was that? That did so much. Whatever it was, it's making me very nervous. I'm gonna go to little buddy over here, Morning Wood. I'm gonna go for the Drain Punch, you know? Just gonna go for a little Drain Punch. Drain Punch will uh, destroy it, hopefully. What did you use? I looked like I looked away. It was, you know, yeah, it was low sweep. Low, low sweep's a little annoying. Okay, ooh, speed fell. Can I still outspeed it? I don't know if I would be able to in the first place, but uh, there we go. Dream punch. Hit him hard, man. Hit him hard. There we go. Sweet. Cool. So we're just at the 23 minute mark. Let's push through and get done all this dialogue. And we have a battle also with Team Aqua and Team Magma. And you guys don't care about the dialogue, so I'll just be blah, blah, blah in my ass off. Like I was last time, huh? Maybe I should do that a little bit less right now. <laughs> don't want to be too over blah blahing. I don't even know what I'm saying. English, please. That would be a 4GG to English translator that you want. Uh, let's see. Do we have a normal? Okay, I was gonna say I could use a normal potion, but I guess we'll just go for a super potion. A little bit of a waste, but oh well. We're gonna lead off with our morning wood right now, just because uh, whenever you're facing. Team Aqua, Team Magma, bosses, gym leaders, whatever. I'd just rather be safe and use our strong Pokemon than just try to get extra training with the others. So here we go, shit's about to get real. We're in Meteor Falls. What's going down? What's going on, you you bozos? You're a bunch of bums to your Team Aqua and you suck. You suck. And Shelly, you're a slut. Look at, look at her, she's such a slut. I mean, just imagine her in real life. Just imagine, sh that's her name, right, Shelly? Hopefully it's Shelly. I think it's Shelly, but uh, all, the, all them camera angles, though. Them camera angles, though. Yeah, we have Shelly. My friend Matt is online. Okay, well, hi, Matt. Uh, yes, Shelly, just look, imagine her in real life. What a slut. What an absolute slut. And, oh, this would have been per- Actually, no, it wouldn't have been perfect for Alexam. It would have died because of Mighty Anna. I was going to say Grimer. Ooh, perfect. It could body a Grimer, but uh, the Mighty Anna might be a little different. <laughs> okay, so speaking of Mighty Anna, we're going to- Don't. Don't. You know, you're a s dude. That was Shelly. I know for a fact that that is Shelly's Pokemon. I hate you. I hate you. You are really not. And I don't have much help from my rival either. I'm I'm battling with a Shroomish right now. Headbutt. Ooh, that's better than I thought. 
Look at all that help, though. Look at all that help. It's pretty much a 2v1 right now. It really is just like a 2v1. <sighs> kind of don't like this battle right now. Uh, well, well, well. Let me just get a drain punch down. That would be great. Wow, look at that! Already? I snapped out of my confusion? Well, that... <laughs> ain't that just amazing? Alright, there we go. Sweet, I'm in a better mood now. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tick tock level 17. There we go. Head butt. I'll head your butt. Okay, cool. Sludgity sludge. Uh, you dead. Feel bad for you, man. If that was a Nuzlocke, that would kind of just suck. But, uh, we still have a skirmish at this point in the game. Come on, man. That ain't cool. Uh, oh, still have another Pokemon. All right, I can live with that. There we go. Now we got March Tomp. That's a little bit better. And why did my volume just completely go like, I'm not going to play anymore? It happens so often. Like, every other recording happens once, I feel like. Just the volume on my 3DS, just uh, on the capture card, it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to stop playing. Yeah, j just for you, Josh, because I know you just love that. Like, all right, thanks. Okay, cool. So we're about to pick a level with Morning Wood, and maybe we could spread some love to the other Pokemon too. Like I was saying, you know, XP share, OP, right? Yeah, like everyone gets experience from that. There we go. Ride me. Cool. It's level 25 when it evolves. Level 25 seems like a pretty good number for that, right? I can picture that. Uh, wow, Munch, are you actually useful? You're actually useful. What? No, that's crazy. And the speed falls. So that's actually kind of useful. That that's pretty crazy right there. And I don't even know that's possible. All right. Uh, poison. All right. I don't love it. I can live with it, though. Definitely live with it. Alright, uh, cool, because poison doesn't affect you in the overworld anymore, so that's not the end of the world. And let's see, chip away, chip away at your ass. Sorry, Grimer. Sorry, Elliot. And, uh, you know, I think Elliot was in this, uh, this video <laughs> when, uh, when I was up to this point in the Omega Ruby one, like I was saying with, uh, Geodude, and I was like, sorry, dude, I gotta kill Grimer, man. I gotta kill Grimer. Okay, so, uh, now we get to do some more fun stuff. More fun stuff. With Team Aqua and Team Magma might have to butt in too. Oh, you're too easy on us? No, you're, you're, you're fine. You're, you're really trying your hardest. You just don't want to admit it. So yeah, you got the meteorite. You just harassed the old man. Professor Cosmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your evil team. We're just some innocent kids. That are better than, you know, we ever expected to be. And now here comes the badass Maxi, who we love in this game and hate uh, in Omega Ruby. <laughs> man. That's one thing that's, like, really different about this game, is just there are a lot more different camera angles and shit. I really like it. It's a little touch to it, a little more... A little more of a reality to it, I guess. Makes it a little more real, like a movie, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, Team Magma's here. Oh, man, this is just uh, an orgy of evil teams. This is fun. All right, get the meteorite. Oh, man. Oh, this is getting bad. <laughs> push him off into the, into the water. Don't fall, man! All right, so they should push him to the side, make him spin around to the Hokey Pokey and all that type of stuff. And awesome! There we go. Cool. Team Aqua. Yay. Love when they do good. It's just more work for us. Ugh. If you guys don't know me by now, I'm just a big person. I'm a big fan of sarcasm. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, whatever, Maxi, you're a person. See you later! And now we're off to Mount Chimney for next episode, I believe. Oh, brother. Did she say brother? Come on. Come on. Oh, brother. I think he's scarred for life. He's like, I was just molested. Cool, alright. Yeah, we're done. Yay! More dialogue. Fun. Yeah, buddy. I'm probably not, I'm, I'm probably actually going to read the dialogue when we get to Mount Chimney. Or maybe I'll even read it when we get over to... What is it called? The Primal Calgar event. So we're probably going to read a lot of that stuff. I'm sure that we will. If you guys really don't want to see that, let me know. But anyway, ah, Professor, oh, it's going to be over 30 minutes. No, there you go, thanks, stars, you're back. Oh, thanks, these children. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Can we be done? Can we be done? I don't want this to be 30 minutes. Come on, yes, please. Uh, need to talk to me as well. Yeah, the TMs, yes, we got SmackDown. SmackDown's very cool. Yay, 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 yay. Let's go. Come on, quick, 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 quick. We only have like 40 seconds left. Yeah, but we're going to do next. Go to the gym now. Okay, yeah, Marvel. Yeah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, let's go to Marvel. Yay, let's hit the road. Woo, woo, woo. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Hit it, hit it. Smash it, crush it, kill it, whatever. Like, bop it, bop it, twist it. Speak it, yell it, shout it, whatever. So, yes, Mount Chimney, it's up there. Meteor Falls, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you watch this part of the video. Comment, uh, flank steak. Down in the comments, below. Bye. Bye.